back in a minute and have been here a few times before and recognize a lot of faces here at the community center. I first want to thank the community for being here and for allowing us to use this center to hold our meetings as we have in the past several years. Um, it's been uh, an opportunity to, to hear um, your concerns firsthand and you know, I, I couldn't thank um, all of you for that collaboration. That's most important to uh, not only myself, but of course to the administrator, is to make sure what we're hearing uh, from the public. Uh, that will continue to be a priority for us, of course. I would also like to thank our, our state partners, Governor Justice, uh, Senator Capito, Representative Miller, for your leadership and our coordination and uh, with your staff, respectfully. We thank you for that. Um, you know, West Virginia has a special place uh, for me. I went to, to school here, but I married uh, a girl from West Virginia, so I, I spent a lot of my time in this state uh, with, my, with my children, um, uh, with family. So uh, it's, it's important for me uh, as we continue to, to um, work here in Minden. Uh, I would be um, really uh, remiss not to appreciate, I know I speak on behalf of all the regional administrators nationally, the leadership that the administrator brings to this agency. He is an individual who started his career at EPA, uh, understands this mission firsthand, and um, uh, we appreciate from the staff uh, level um, his leadership. I want to thank particularly um, Region 3 staff for all the work that you have done and, and continue to do, and to make sure uh, for us as we this process moves forward, We'll be here this afternoon, and staff will be here through Wednesday to answer any additional questions that any of you have. But um, it is really a pleasure for me and honor to, to introduce um, the Administrator of EPA, Andrew Wood. Good morning. It is a pleasure to be here in West Virginia today. Thank you, Cos, for the introduction and for your leadership in the region. A special thank you to Governor Justice for welcoming EPA and for his support, um, not only on this site and the support of your whole team at, at, at West Virginia DEP, but also on your help on repealing and replacing the Clean Power Act. Um, the war on coal is over, and our new affordable clean energy rule will help level the playing field so that West Virginia can once again be a leader in clean coal production and technology. We expect to finalize the rule this summer. And hopefully it'll be a boost to the global economy here. I also want to recognize and thank Senator Capito. In your role in the Senate Environment Public Works Committee, I've had the privilege of working closely with you on a variety of important issues. It's great to know that there's a strong champion for West Virginia on the committee. Um, she and I have discussed this site several times. She made sure that I was aware of the site and the problems in this community. And I want to thank you for your leadership. Um, I also want to thank Congresswoman Miller. Uh, we've had several conversations as well since you were elected last fall, and I'm glad you're able to join us today, and thank you for your leadership as well on these issues. Uh, West Virginia is in the midst of a great economic comeback, and the leaders of this room today are a big reason why. We're gathered here today to announce that the Schaefer Equipment and Arbuckle Creek site is among seven sites nationwide being added to the Superfund Program's national priorities list. Today's announcement is a result of EPA listening closely to the concerns of the Minden community. The people spoke and we listened. It is also a result of our renewed focus on the Superfund program. We made a lot of progress at EPA under President Trump, but Superfund is one area where we've really excelled. In fiscal year 2018, the EPA deleted all or part of 22 sites from the National Priorities List, the largest number of deletions in one year since 2005. This achievement will directly improve the lives of residents near those sites, most often low-income, minority, or disadvantaged Americans. These communities deserve our full and immediate attention. After all, a site on the National Priorities List should be just that, a national priority. For too many years, sites were placed on the National Priority List and would stay for decades without being cleaned up. Our commitment to the Mendon community is that this site will be a national priority. As many of you know, the Schaefer Equipment Company is a former manufacturer of electrical substations that use oil containing PCBs and electric transformers and other equipment. In the past, 
leaks, spills, and dumping contributed to PCB contamination at the facility and also resulted in runoff to the adjacent Arbuckle Creek. EPA, in coordination with our partners at the West Virginia Department of Environmental Protection, has taken action in the past to address the immediate risk to PCB exposures. But in 2016, residents contacted EPA and the West Virginia DEP to express their continued concerns about residual PCB contamination at the site. EPA responded by collecting data to determine whether the site should be placed on the MPL. Last September, the agency proposed that the Schaefer site and areas around Arbuckle Creek be added to the NPL, the national priority list. And today, we are officially adding it to the list. We are grateful for the tremendous response from the local community in submitting comments on the proposed listing. We received roughly 375 comments, and they were overwhelmingly supportive of listing the site on the national priority list. Since the site was proposed in September, our Region 3 staff team has already been working with the West Virginia DEP to review all the data collected, engage with the local community, and develop a comprehensive plan for the remedial, remedial investigation. In fact, Region 3 site team and contractors will be amended this week to evaluate the site conditions and continue to engage with the local community. I encourage the amended community to continue to work with our regional site team and build a strong collaborative relationship. These relationships are key to effective and timely action. Across the country, we are in the process of cleaning up some of the nation's largest, most complex Superfund sites and returning them to productive use. We have elevated the Superfund program to a top priority at the agency. The days and years of inaction are over. When we declare sites like Menden a national priority, we mean it. Thank you for your time, thank you for your attention, and thank you for welcoming the EPA to Menden. Um, this is my first visit to Menden. It won't be my last. I will say I have a lot of roots in the area. My father um, grew up in Beckley, graduated from Beckley High School. Um, his family was from Alderson and Pitt Springs area of the state. Um, this summer I will miss for the first time in 28 years our family reunion because I have to be in Japan on behalf of the administration. Um, I'm sad to miss the reunion, but I come out to this area after I've rafted the Gauley River, I've rafted the New River, the Cheap River. Um, this is an area of the country that I personally care a lot about, and I want to assure all the people who live here that you will have our full attention. It's now my pleasure to introduce our next speaker. So please join me in welcoming Senator Shelley Moore Capito, Senator from the great state of West Virginia. I've gotten to know over the last several years, uh, but particularly in his capacity as administrator of the EPA. It's a tough job. It's a tough job, and I think Andrew's doing a, a great job, which I think is uh, exemplified by being here today and uh, the announcement that, uh, that you made today. Governor, it's always great to be with you. I know that these things are partnerships, uh, and uh, Carol and I are up at the federal level um, advocating through the administrator's office, but here, Governor, the, your DEP are, are uh, on the ground working hard with all of the EPA partners, the, the residents and others who are most deeply affected. We just did a little um, ATV tour uh, of the facility and uh, with uh, Region 3 Administrator uh, Cosmo, he's been, we've been with, together several times. Um, but I think what I really took away from the tour is uh, how frustrated everybody who lives in and around the area is and must be. When you look, Susie was telling me that she's lived here her entire life. When, well, I don't know if that was her entire life, but <laughs> okay, entire life. And she's been very verbal, but when we went through the um, EPA involvement of this site, you know, it starts in the 80s and then back again in the 90s and then back again in the 2000s. And so that's what I think the frustration that you all have and that you've certainly shared with all of us, um, that's uh, led me to write a letter to the administrator to ask him to do what he's doing today, um, and, uh, and that is to add this to the Superfund list, the national priorities list. Uh, and I think what this does is just, it's an acknowledgement of the work that you all, your amendment, have done to keep raising the issue, to keep your frustrations as frustrating as they are, uh, 
keep them um, factual and fact-based and certainly emotional at the same time, but also keep bringing it back to us uh, and, and therefore to the EPA. Because if you call Minden home, it means, you know, obviously health issues and quality of life issues and all the things that play into an announcement like this, I think, are exceedingly important. So I'm pleased to be here today. Andrew said it won't be the last time he's been here, won't be the last time I've been here either. And uh, I'm anxious to see, and I think you're going to see a lot more activity with the EPA, with DEP people taking samples beginning even, I think there's going to be, you know, this afternoon starting and then a full out, uh, uh, much broader examination uh, as the summer uh, unfolds. So I think it's incumbent upon us to um, respond uh, appropriately. That's why we have programs like the Superfund. Uh, that's why we fund, as as uh, legislators, we fund programs because you know, left to the community, it's impossible. It's impossible to be able to do this on your own and with your own resources. And uh, and so I'm pleased to be here today uh, to back up the commitment that the EPA has made. We're going to we're going to stay on them, as he knows. Uh, we have a habit of doing that, and I look forward to coming back and finding not just the results, but also a, a peace of mind uh, it, for all of you that the job's been done thoroughly, finally. I think that would probably be a nice thing to know that we're at the final conclusion here and we, and we know that we have the right answers and we're doing the right remediation, which is what being a super fun site national priority list is all about. So thank you all very much. Great. Um, we are pleased to have Governor Justice here. He's obviously very familiar with this area uh, and is a native of Southern West Virginia and has his eye out for not just the health and welfare but the economic development issues uh, surrounding. So, Governor, it's always great to be.
and we pushed it. And I want to tell you, this, this great man here, now let me give you a, a timeline of just this. And I hope I can read this, but uh, first year in my, in my first year in office, we had people back with the EP, back on the ground, testing the soil and water. You know, then we asked that the EPA finally, you know, move us towards the NPL list. And today, today, two years later, we're on the list. Now listen to me. Now listen really clearly. Our president has really been involved. I've talked with him up ten, up ten times. I tell him just the situation that I would tell you because I don't know how to tell you anyway other than just in common terms. It's a crime shame. That's all there is to it. You people knew there was a real problem. You people have experienced children and everything else with terrible, dreaded cancer problems and everything under the sun. You knew of the problem. Now we should commend a million fold Andrew Wheeler, our administrator right here, because EPA has moved under this administration that's there now. It took a long time. It's a crying shame. That's all there is to it. You know, we did get after it. And we did pour it on. And with the friendship of President Trump and, and everybody's great work at DEP, EPA, and everywhere else, look what's happened. We we pulled this off. If we had started on this in 1984, 1986, we'd be done. 1984 is one hell of a long time ago. All I can tell you is I congratulate this man, all the effort of DEP. I congratulate this great administrator. I congratulate all the people that put in a lot of licks on this. And I really and truly was one at the head of the food chain, but you don't need to thank me. You thank all these people that absolutely got it done. And so I thank our senator, I thank our congresswoman, I thank all of you, but this is more to me of an apology to you. Now, I wasn't around in 1984 or 2000 or whenever it may be, but it, we should absolutely say it's a crime of shame. A day of celebration, but a day, in my opinion, with a lot of regrets. So anyway, I thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Next, I'd like to invite Congressman Miller up to the to the podium. I won't repeat what has been said here already. I'm very hopeful. What I saw today and the people that I got to associate with bring me great hope. Thank you, Mr. Wheeler, for what's happening. Where's Austin? Thank you. I mean, the, the attention that has been, you know, I mean, all of y'all, I'll mess up everybody's mind, all y'all as we sit down here make a huge difference. The healthcare people here, Nobody wants to live in fear, and you all have been living in fear. And to be able to remove that as we're moving forward, I think will be so beneficial to everyone that lives here. You have your senator, your new congresswoman, you have the boss of the state right here. We're all working to make this better. I believe the community is down to about 250 people now. You're a close group of people. We don't want you to live in fear. I'm very hopeful, and I thank you all for being here today, and I'm looking forward to solving the issue. Thank you. Seven sites to 
today to the national priority list across the country. Um, and I could have chosen any one of the seven sites to go visit to another person, and it meant a lot to me to come here to add um, Ted Minton to the MPL site in person. So I'm signing the uh, addition of Minton to the MPL site today, and it is now official. Uh, this is a Superfund national priority list, part of the Superfund program, and you have my word, you have the governor's word, you have, you have Mr. Caperton's word that this is going to be a priority for all of us. Great. Thank you, Senator.